In today's vlog, my friends, yes, we're in the city of London once more. We're outside Holborn Station and we're going to take a journey over to Bethnal Green, where we're going to go and see a pub called The Blind Beggar, which is infamous for the craze, because yes, that is where Ronnie Cray ended up shooting somebody, just walked into a pub with a shooter and ended up wiping him out and that's one of the reasons why he got caught we're gonna head over there today we're gonna to meet up with darren john have a bite to eat maybe a little full english breakfast hopefully nobody will come in with a shooter because you know we don't want any of that we're gonna behave all right all right geezer leave it out leave it out anyway before we do that don't forget to like subscribe click that little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos follow me on instagram which is down there now without further ado my friends Let's go. I come here for a shootout, right? A proper shootout with some proper men. made it. Now we've got to find Darren. Started to get his accent, haven't I? Right, come on. Let's find this pub. Here he is. How you doing? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Good to see you. It is good to see you. It's like we arranged that for you to go back, do it again. Do you think? Yeah, it's like we did that, isn't it? It's like we made it up. And then there's me thinking it looks so genuine. It's like we, it's like we set it up and said, <laughs> go back down there and come back up again so I can film it like you're coming up, isn't it? Not genuinely actually did it, you know. It's all, it's all fake, isn't it? Now they know. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> so we're going to go to uh, the Blind Beggar, I think. We're going to go over that way. We are. I need some breakfast. Did you bring the shooter? Yeah, uh, I couldn't get hold of the shooter. Couldn't get hold of it, but uh, I know a man who can. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't want none of that. Leave it out. Leave it leave out. out. Leave, leave it out. out. Let's go and get a breakfast. I'm starving. I'm Ank Marvin. Me too. All right. Nice to see you come up the old apples and pears there. Apples and pears? Yeah. Should we go down that way? Let's sort it right out. Sort it then, come on, onwards.
so my friends, we're off to the blind beggar. I'm reading my script here, Wikipedia, and uh, it says the blind beggar is a pub on Whitechapel Road in Whitechapel in the east end of London, England. It is where Ronnie Cray murdered George Cornell in front of witnesses uh, and is the location of William Booth's first sermon, which led to the uh, creation of the Salvation Army. There you go. So, we're going to go there. Shame it's not open. It'd be, it'd be good to go in, wouldn't it, and have a beer? Yeah. You'd be a bit worried whether anyone's going to come in, you know, with, uh, with the old shooter. Yeah, with the old... The blind beggar might be closed <laughs> by the time you arrive. Probably will be closed. <laughs> oh, man. The thing with London is, every area that you go to is different. I found you've got Camden. It's like being... <laughs> It's just totally, totally different to each other. Yeah. Really weird. Right, come on. Onwards. We're walking like gangsters. It probably looks more like we've crapped ourselves or something. Come on, onwards. miles is it? I tell you what, just hang on a minute, stop. All right, all right, fella. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now, right? If they haven't figured this out, <laughs> right, he probably got a taxi to the pub <laughs> to shoot the guy, because he'd have been knackered by the time he got there if he walked from the, <laughs> if he walked from the subway, from the, the underground. Jeez, how much further is it? Don't, whatever you do, don't use a Samsung sat nav. It's useless. I don't think he did. Do you reckon he did? I don't think they had him at that time, did they? Probably not, no. <laughs> Come on, onwards. <laughs> Where the f How far is it? Jeez, oh, he definitely took a cab. I'm telling you. He took a taxi. It's a London mile. A London mile? We'll be back in Nottingham in a minute. <laughs> Jeez. I know why your YouTube channel was about walking now. <laughs> it used to be about walking. <laughs> You like a walk, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. There's walking and there's walking. God, blind I'm gonna need a pint after this. Right, we've found it. Right. Here we go. All right, fellas. Got it, all right? Got it. Got it. You got it? You got yours? Got mine. Where's yours? Mine's in my pocket, the old China. Come on. Sort this guy out. Teach him a lesson. Quick! It's the old Bill. I come here for a f***ing shootout, right? A proper shootout with some proper men. Like Colonel Custer, Geronimo. Have you heard of him? No. Because you were too busy in your penny taking fairy tales, weren't you? So there you go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. You would think it would be on like a side street or something. Is he going to go in? No, he goes onto a main road. Yeah, in the, in the movie you see the car pull up just on the corner there and he gets out and just walks straight in. Do they use this on the movie, the actual pub? Um, 
I'll have to find that out. Yeah, actually. I'm not going to commit myself to that, but yeah, I, I it's weird because you can see the city over there. Right, so we are actually in the East End, an East End pub. Pub, get out my pub. Get, she, didn't, uh, she didn't do it like that, she said. Get out of my pub. She said it like that. Did she? Yeah. Oh, That's it. Okay. Yeah, even Ronnie and Reggie wouldn't have messed with Peggy Mitchell. Well, they were actually friends in real life, weren't they? Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they used to go, she used to go to their nightclub often. Uh, they used to look after her. Old Barbara Windsor, bless her. You can feel the history though, it's weird. Anyway, uh, that's the problem. <clears throat> I'd rather have a full English breakfast or yeah. something now and a cup of coffee. Cap coffee? Cap coffee. Me old China? Me old China. Come on, let's get, let's get a centre to have a cup of coffee. Come on guys, onwards. Right, full, two full Englishers and a coffee. All right, fella? All right, mate. Yeah, take a seat. Just keep an eye out around, all right? Just yeah. keep, your, keep your eyes out. Right, so I've got two breakfasts here. I was going to get breakfast, but, for Darren, but... F***ing cash. Oh, it's cash. <laughs> it's cash. It's cash. Sorry, I have to bleep that out. It's cash only again, isn't it, eh? Yeah, you might have known in the old East End. Put the old... Uh, Put the old dosh in the old skyrocket, you know. Yeah. That's, uh, oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Brilliant. Get out the west of them. Brilliant, thank you. Got some MacMaster stickers there. Some onwards, my friend stickers. Thank you very much. I shall. Uh, I'll start sticking them around everywhere. <laughs> so two full English breakfast. Two. I didn't get tomatoes for you because you didn't want a tomato. I remember that. Uh, two lattes. Uh, 14250 uh, all in fella now 17 pound what was it 1750 or whatever so cash only i don't understand this cash only i don't what is it well it's just a it's more money for them isn't it in their sky rocket you know what i mean it does my boxing it does my boxing honestly actually yesterday i tell a lie when we went for the uh, pie and mash yeah. i mean that was cheap wasn't it yeah that that, 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 was, cheap, that, that was really cheesy you think well cash all right seven quid for two lots of pie and mash and whatever so that was cheap anyway wolves two we don't have a uh, pie, mash and, frog pie spawn. mash and frog spawn yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway let's see what this breakfast looks like guys see you guys in a minute so we've got uh, two breakfasts one without tomato uh you've got an extra egg i've got your next egg but darling please can i have another egg I'll read this one. She said, do you want an extra egg? So there we go, it does look good. It's really nice, actually. Uh, and we've got the toast on its way as well. Thank you very much, and the salt and pepper. That's it, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Superb, brilliant, thank you. Okay, so let's show you what this looks like. Toast. Someone's shrunk the sausages. They are, they're a bit. <laughs> Two smaller sausages, you've got a helicopter over there. Uh, toast pre buttered again, but crispy. Yeah, good, good toast. Right, guys, gonna eat this, come back to you, tell you what it's like, mark it out of 10. Boom, here we go. Right, my friends, well, we've polished it all off, I have to say. Yeah. Um, after the little, It was all right after the little smoke invasion. You got your old gangster hat on, didn't you? You should have heard him. Excuse me, geezer. Oh, you, can you shift yourself down there, eh? That smoke's getting blown in my face, fella. He didn't actually hear you. asked very polite, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, the guy, once he realised, he, he was very apologetic. The, the, the wind's blowing this way, but... 
Yeah, it's fine. He was able to carry on with their breakfast. That aside, very nice breakfast. I'm going to give that a solid 8.9. Wow. Well, I was going to give it an 8, because the only reason it's an 8 is because it's so chuffing cold. Halfway through the, the breakfast we were in, that aside, the weather. Yeah. Halfway through it, it's stone cold, but hey, you can't help that, it's not their fault. But it was a good breakfast, but I'll give it an 8. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friends, um, that is where we end uh, this this series of London, the London series. Join me in the next one where I think, I'm not sure yet, I shall keep you updated where I'm going to go. It will be somewhere a little bit more close to home, probably in, in north somewhere. Um, I'd like to thank, by the way, Darren John here. He's been absolutely, what a host he's been, absolutely superb. Uh, and thank you very much for the helmets, by the way. Uh, now I have two helmets. <laughs> uh, well, three probably. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a family channel. Um, oh, there goes a the subscriber. Um, <laughs> he's just put his coffee out. <laughs> Do me a favour, guys, because this guy has been genuinely, genuinely brilliant. He really has. He's took me everywhere in, in London. He's taken days off of work. Um, he's, he's, he's bought me the helmets, which I'm absolutely chuffed with. Um, now I've got my own motorcycle helmets ready to take to, take to the one two fives when I go back to Tenerife. Um, it's been superb. Uh, I will be coming back to see you again. Looking forward to it. Um, and uh, I'm going to stop with him. So if you want to stop with him, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> do me a favour though. Subscribe to this guy. I'm going to point here now, right? All you got to do, if you're on a mobile device or a computer, click right. Here. Click up there and subscribe to him. Do it now. <laughs>